Um, uh, Jen. Yes. Where are you from, Jen? Cleveland, Ohio. Yes. This is Robert Smith. Robert, it's an honor to meet you. Thanks. My question is about love song. Uh, it's such a sentimental and personal sounding song, but I was wondering how you feel about a cover being made. Um, it, it was weird, actually, because of all the songs that we've ever done, that was the one song that, that is the one song that I feel very strongly about, because I wrote it as a wedding present for my wife. So it does sound weird, someone else singing it, but um, I've flattered by cover versions. You know, it's um, when when they're good, um, I enjoy them hugely, and when I don't enjoy them that much, I still think it's good that they've been done. My husband and I danced to a love song at our wedding, and I wanted to ask you if there was a song that was special to you and your wife at your wedding, um, but I'm assuming since that was a wedding gift, that maybe that was it. Uh, it wasn't that, no. Life on Mars was the, was the song. Really? Someone, um, there were two people backstage yesterday, they were competition winners, and, uh, and he proposed to his girlfriend during uh, us playing love song yesterday. Oh, it's so <laughs> sweet. That's amazing. <laughs> and she said no. But are you serious? No, she said no. Uh, <laughs> we but you and your wife have seemed to have successfully avoided that rock and roll cliche of breaking up or such, and I was wondering, so what you think is the secret to I don't think it's, it's not exclusive together. to rock and roll, is it? Oh, not right. at all, but... <laughs> um, what's the secret of a successful marriage? I have no idea. But finding someone who's willing to put up with you. I think I have. <laughs> I hope I have. <laughs> um, I, honestly, doing, doing what I do, it, it isn't... People kind of like live the life if they choose to live it. You don't have to. You can... You can do this and remain reasonably normal. I mean, if you start, well, I'm saying normally, you know, if you start off reasonably normal, you can end up reasonably normal after a number of years of doing it. You don't have to go completely mad. You know, it's, it's some, there are weird aspects of, of doing what I do. Um, but if it happens slowly enough, I think it's probably the key, actually, because we had a, a long, long time, and I had a long time to get used to people just looking at me and strangers coming up and knowing things about me. And, the, the, the most difficult thing still for me is that conversations are one-sided, but it's, um, it's generally because I, I'm just answering questions in the conversation rather than actually having a two-way kind of dialogue. And the best thing about the Curiosity Festival has been that we're constantly surrounded by other people who do what we do. So I'm able to talk to like Paul from Interpol and Stuart from Mogwai about what they do, so I can ask them questions. It's, re it's really good. Um, that's helped me to um, get through this in a reasonable state of mind.